for a place to be rooted in the yellow paradigm, all the other stages need to be present in this place. Because yellow is about integ integrating the best of all the stages. to our new favorite breakfast spot. It is beyond beautiful, I'm telling you. Amubala! Amubala? <laughs> yes, uh, two days ago we had a we had a little video call. Yay! With grandma, huh? Amu. Amu. Yeah, that was really nice, really beautiful. Ma Time to Amu bring her back, back to Bali. Amu hauen? Yeah. Yeah, Amu is not there, ne? Can I understand that you would like to Amu hauen wollen würdest. Papa! On the way. Oh, oh, look at this. We almost arrived. Papa! Yeah. Bank! Yeah, bank. There's a little bench. Oh, the bench is there. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Papa, I'm Runter, yeah, come here. Come runter. What a beautiful spot. Wow. Yesterday I had a realization why Bali like really 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 is the right spot for our new paradigm living space when we look at different places in the world through the lens of spiral dynamics we can find various hotspots of the of the stages we can find red hotspots where it's about impulsivity where it's about aggression where it's about fulfilling your own needs at the expense of everybody and everything around you, like in civil war settings um, or where the mafia reigns. Like these are places that are very red dominant. And we can find blue settings where it's about order and stability and obedience to the authority, to your religion, to your God. We can find many places in the world where that is very present. And we can find orange hotspots where uh, people are very materialistically driven where there's a lot of entrepreneurial energy um, We can find a lot of hotspots for that. Just think about the big mega cities of the world Be it Dubai or Tokyo or New York City or Singapore They are all very orange driven and we can find green hotspots where there's a certain egalitarian structure where it's about inclusivity and emotions and um, and, and peace and this feeling of like wow I'm I'm part of a community the the Scandinavian countries are very at the forefront of this green movement where a really high level of education is for free and like people are living in neighborhoods where they care for each other and uh, yeah there you can find hotspots for that <laughs> yellow hotspots like there are no places where it's normal to embody this systemic um, thinking approach where we don't judge each other where we don't categorize in good and bad where we see things as they are re as they really are and we live life from a place of being instead of a place of instead of from a place of survival like all the previous stages this is very rare less than 0.1% of the world's population is living from this place and that's why there are no hotspots for that. There are like scattered all over the world those systemic thinkers and turquoise is like even more rare living from this place of interbeing and of universal perfection. Like this is even more rare. There are some really elevated uh, elevated human beings but there are no hotspots and it's my intention to help birth those hotspots and what I realized yesterday is for a place to be centered in this yellow paradigm 
all the other stages need to be very present. Oh, oh, that's a big one, huh? That's a big one. Where did you get that? That's a really big one. Wow. Oh. Killat. <laughs> Killat. <laughs> that's from the palm tree, huh? Is it from the palm tree? I think so. Those are the leaves, huh? The dry leaves. You can pick them. place to be rooted in the yellow paradigm and this is what I realized yesterday is that all the other stages need to be present in this place because yellow is about integ integrating the best of all the stages yellow doesn't judge yellow doesn't see the aggressive uh, and impulsive red humans although they are no red humans but um, you know what I mean they don't uh, yellow doesn't see them as like primitive and evil yellow doesn't see the blue ones as backwards and like overly obedient yellow sees the beauty in all of them yellow sees value in integrating this red force yeah Leo Baum na komm gehen wir zum Baum rüber kannst darauf klettern guck mal der Baum ist this tree is very very good for climbing hier kannst du gut drauf klettern Yellow sees value in integrating blue structure and methodical approach. Yellow sees value in integrating orange entrepreneurial drive. Yellow sees value. Leo Baum, guck mal hier, auf den Baum kannst du gut drauf gehen. This tree is good for climbing. Hier kannst du gut drauf gehen. So for a place to come from this like yellow non-judgmental integrative approach all the other energies all the other energies need to be present in this place all the other energies need to be integrated and that's what i love about bali because bali has this very strong blue like religious like the hindu culture is very strong here with all the offerings and so on like we are sitting we're sitting basically in a in a bed of in a bed of offerings. They're doing this each and every day, and this is very important. And the orange energy is very present too. Like there's a lot, there's a lot of like construction and like really entrepreneurial drive and and there's a strong green center too. This is why most of the people in our bubble come to Bali because there's a lot of spirituality and meditation and and um, singing circles and so on this for me makes bali perfectly perfectly suited to become one of the first yellow hotspots because all the other energies are present they want to be integrated <laughs> yeah nice that's a nice broom huh all the other energies are present and that is very important something that we realize in yellow we need orange entrepreneurial energy. Like we cannot just escape to the forest and hope that the global problems won't affect us. This doesn't work. We cannot live just in green, but we cannot live just in orange either. We cannot live just in blue. We cannot live just in yellow. We need all, and this is what we realize in yellow. That's why a place like that, the truly new paradigm living space, needs to have all the energies integrated and all the energies need to be present in this place. There needs to be room for entrepreneurial drive, there needs to be room for love, peace and harmony, there needs to be room for structure and there needs to be room for physical power and presence and like... And there needs to be room for, for purple, tribal, 
really connected with the earth, with the elements, something that is on the brink of extinction in Bali and that we might support in preserving. That's why I feel we arrived at the perfect place in the perfect moment. Oh, that's a good one. And of course, if we wish to build a place like this, where all the Bye. energies come together, we need to let Bye. go of our resistance towards Bye. all the energies, all the stages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if a part of us thinks badly about orange materialistic entrepreneurship, or a part of us thinks badly about blue structure and um, adherence to rules, no. or purple no. tribalism, no. of course, like, yeah, we can't integrate them. Papa. And of course, if I check in with myself, I sense a little bit of resistance towards all the stages. If this wouldn't be the case, I would have fully integrated them. Like, for me, the reason why a certain part within myself is not integrated is because another part of myself doesn't want to integrate that. Otherwise, there would have been plenty of time if all my components would be 100% aligned in this direction, I probably would have achieved this already. So, Papa? Yeah. Here, Papa. what's the hidden disadvantage? Is a beautiful question. Papa, 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 Papa. Ja, das ist der Rasensprenger, ne? Willst du noch den Rasensprenger? Papa, Papa. Ja, Rasensprenger. Ja, that's nice, ne? That's nice. call afternoon these days like <laughs> the, the vlogs are structured <laughs> always the same morning beach time playtime with Leo afternoon calls at alchemy <laughs> this is how our days are this afternoon I had a powerful custodia printers one-on-one -on -one coaching call and a group coaching call and then an application call for Custodia in Poland in one and a half weeks. Wow. I'll already be in Poland. Can you believe it? <laughs> and our first cohort of Custodia is starting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. As I told you, one slot got vacant because one of our co creators, along with her son, needed to cancel. I just had a beautiful call with David. Yeah. Mm. This evening, I have another meeting scheduled with Elena, his mom, my ex-partner, about future community plans. Very excited for that too. Sharing all the upcoming developments. Yeah, everything that I shared with you over the last couple of videos with our Miro board and all the different criteria and where they overlap and what might be the ideal location and how to move forward and all that. We're gonna discuss this. So productive afternoon I'd say <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna drive back to our home in the mountains very excited for that yeah. a lot of things happening right now a lot of things happening right now and I'm very proud of myself how I navigate all these waters all these like this challenging terrain like all these different components and it's interesting to watch like I remember a time not long ago where when all the construction that I see here in the south of Bali where this made me angry and where there was a part inside myself that was like oh this is wrong like this beautiful island and everybody should live like us and now I more and more see it as a as an inevitable process yeah I see it with a certain kind of neutrality okay this is this is how the human psyche evolves like after blue conformistic I work in my rice field and I eat my rice and veggies and I'm happy and I pray and whatever 
there comes a materialistic orange of I want this and I want that and I want to sell my land in order to send my kids to, to university and then deeply rooted orange westerners come in and build something and this attracts other tourists and then more and more and this like cycle continues and continues until like more and more of the biosphere gets converted to cafes and nightclubs and spas and restaurants and this and that and yeah that's how it is and touching on today's topic this is an important component of what makes Bali the right place for our yellow integrative space called Custodia because this orange energy is present here if this orange energy wouldn't be present if this would be like an untouched island somewhere one of those thousands of Indonesian islands when like nothing is this wouldn't be the right setting because there wouldn't be the orange energy present and we need that we need the orange energy present and we need the green spiritual connectedness like Ubud is the is the spiritual cultural center of the island there's like all sorts of green things going on this energy is present too and we need all of these energies and design a system where custodia plays a vital part to enable these orange and green energies to rise even more yeah and shift them like really take this I have this image inside my head of like Bruce Lee not fighting his opponent and punching back of like the opponent making a strike and he uses the energy of his opponent in order to and he pulls him in order to bring him out of balance and win and this is an image that I have with this like orange energy how can we take this how can we take the force of the orange energy and use it as something that serves as a catalyst in order to transcend this orange paradigm and to protect this island of the gods and i don't know exactly how to do that but we are on the path to figure that out so yeah letting go of this judgment is the first part towards that and these days i'm sitting on the scooter and driving around to see like okay construction and construction a new project a new project i'm like okay this is how it is and there's a certain sense of neutrality and then I, and I enjoy that yeah a certain a deeper sense of surrender I'm part of the process I'm just playing my part whatever that is it will unfold and it's already unfolding each and every day a little bit more thank you for that and thank you for following along and this is my intention with these videos to just share the process to not tell you anything to not bring across some argument or truth or or whatever i'm not trying to convince you of anything i'm just sharing our my my journey our journey yeah let's see where it leads it's an interesting ride that's for sure <laughs> see you tomorrow